In late 2012, Telecommunications provided Digicel under the Government Assisted Technology Endeavor Program, GATE, launched the first 4G LTE network in the Caribbean and also the first in Digicel's 32 markets worldwide. This spawned a program, the ICT Cadet Program, that would target young school leavers and give them the opportunity to work alongside the hardware technicians, the network technicians, the new media team, and the Connect and Tingo Marbuda Initiative team under the Ministry of Telecommunications. This would equip them with skill sets that would make them globally competitive and gear their minds towards entrepreneurship. Gates' mission is to develop the intellectual capital of the people of Antigua and Barbuda through the use of structured training in the technological and creative industries, to build a knowledge-based society driving entrepreneurship and innovation, making more opportunities accessible to more people. The Organization of American States says that a knowledge-based society refers to the type of society that is needed to compete and succeed in the changing economic and political dynamics of the modern world. It refers to societies that are well-educated and who therefore rely on the knowledge of their citizens to drive the innovation, entrepreneurship, and dynami dynamism of that society's economy. Under the GATE program, we have successfully deployed over 3,000 4G LTE-enabled tablets to secondary school and tertiary-level students. The ministry has successfully increased broadband penetration from 12% in early 2004 to nearly 90% in 2013, with GATE seeing that number continuing up the charts. Dare I say we are ever closer to that knowledge-based society. The cadets here today have endured a rigorous six months of training in areas such as computer repairs, upgrades and diagnostics, new media, photography, videography, basic networking, inventory management, customer service. These cadets have taken the first steps in making themselves and Antigua and Barbuda more competitive and they can be proud of what they have achieved thus far. The challenge now for us here at GATE is what do these cadets do when they have finished this program? And it really is imperative that we can align different paths for these trained persons to undertake something constructive. In light of addressing this issue, we have begun discussions with Abit on how we can attain scholarships for the brightest young minds leaving Gate to pursue further education in an IT-related discipline. Also, through our Cisco Networking Academy, cadets will have the opportunity to learn firsthand authorized Cisco computer networking curricula. Efforts will also be heightened to align GATE with companies that will take on these cadets and provide them with meaningful jobs utilizing the skills that they would have gained here at GATE. These are just some of the different pathways that persons leaving this facility can look forward to. I'd like to end here on a quote from Nelson Mandela. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. I urge you cadets to continue the dedication and passion that you have shown here at GATE. Continue to learn, grow, inspire, and innovate. Con congratulations to you all for completing the program. Given all the ups and downs that we may have faced during the time here, and may you continue to be successful going forward. I'd now like to invite Honorable Melford Nicholas for some brief remarks.